It looks like slavery hasn't been abolished in the galaxy far, far away. 12 years of slave actor Chiwetel Ejiofor is the latest rumor to be up for a role in Star Wars Episode 7. The news comes from British newspaper The Times, which bumped into Ejiofor in the office of J.J. Abrams Bad Robot Productions. Abrams refused to discuss casting for Star Wars, but says that Ejiofor is a very talented man, so we'll let you know if he finds his way to the Star Wars universe. With each passing moment, you make yourself more my servant. Keep in mind that there have already been enough casting rumors about Episode 7 to fill a space cruiser. The film is currently in pre-production and will need to begin shooting soon in order to make its 2015 release window on schedule. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. Blizzard Entertainment has filed a trademark for something called Warlords of Draenor, which many are speculating will be the title of the next WoW expansion. For those of you who haven't been doing your homework, Draenor is also known as the Outland, and it's where the Orcs and the Draenei lived before settling in the land of Azeroth. Blizzard hasn't made any official announcements about the next WoW expansion, but that might change very soon. The studio will kick off its massive BlizzCon event in Anaheim this weekend, and there's expected to be some big announcements. We'll keep you up to date with the latest, and don't forget that a big screen Warcraft movie is also on the way, and will right click its way to cinemas in December 2015. You are not prepared. After scoring a recent victory at the Emmys, it looks like Netflix has set its sights on the Oscars. Netflix is rumored to be in talks to buy and distribute the new documentary, The Square, about the 2011 Egyptian Revolution. The film was screened earlier this year at the Sundance and Toronto International Film Festivals, and it's considered to be a strong contender for the best documentary category. If the news is true, it would be the first time a Netflix-owned movie is nominated for an Oscar. The film will still need to be shown in a limited number of theaters in order to qualify for the awards, but viewers would also be able to stream it at home shortly after that. The nominees will be announced in January. Netflix made history earlier this year when its original production, House of Cards, became the first online-only series to win at the Emmys. I don't use people unless I can throw them away afterwards. I'm trying to strengthen our partnership. Two other Netflix productions, Hemlock Grove and the fourth season of Arrested Development, received nominations. Well, that's not a great sign. Army of Darkness star Bruce Campbell might be getting ready to show you his boomstick for real this time. There have long been rumors about a sequel to Army of Darkness, the third film in the original Evil Dead series. Original star Bruce Campbell recently told fans that the sequel is finally in the works. See this? This is my boomstick! The news has been backed up by Evil Dead remake director Fede Alvarez, who tells Bloody Disgusting that the planned sequel to his film is on hold until Army of Darkness 2 gets made. There are unconfirmed reports that director Sam Raimi might even be back as well, but since there have been so many rumors about the project over the past two decades, don't believe anything until you see it. We'll let you know if more details come in. Okay. Uh, oh, no! The best multiplayer maps from Battlefield 3 are getting a makeover thanks to Battlefield 4. The new game's first expansion, known as Second Assault, will include updated versions of the four most popular maps from Battlefield 3. They are the Caspian Border, Operation Metro, Gulf of Oman, and Operation Firestorm. All of them are being updated with Battlefield 4's new Levolution feature, which means players will be able to destroy and alter the environment throughout the course of a match. For the player, that means that he can use this environment for his benefit, and he has to adapt to the environment when the environment changes on him. We change the layout of the map itself, and the other part is that it throws up a lot of dust in the air, so it makes it less visible for you to walk around, so helicopter pilots will have a more difficult time. That's the idea of changing how you react to the environment. But it's not only the big things, it can be small things as well, like you go through a storefront and an alarm beeps off. It's kind of making sure that the environment makes sense and you can use the environment to your advantage. The second assault pack will deploy first on the Xbox One, arriving the same day the game and the console launch on November 22nd. The new maps will make their way to other platforms after that. Game maker DICE is currently working on more expansions for Battlefield 4. The second DLC deployment known as China Rising will continue the battle on December 3rd.